Some strange things are happening in China's property market. Towns and cities filled with empty apartment blocks, reminders of a slowing economy. Yet the rush to buy seems to be accelerating. And in some cases, it's turning to panic. Buyers swarm into a real estate office in Hangzhou. The door can't withstand the crush. They wanted to get ahead of a new rule banning those born outside the city from owning more than one home. This anonymous building in nearby Nanjing is the Civil Affairs Bureau, where marriages officially end. But not everyone here is divorcing for real. Some are cutting ties, at least on paper, so they can buy homes as two singles instead. A few even bring along their children. Stevie and JJ only married in May. Their legal separation took just 15 minutes. Are you sad? sad. No, no, I'm not sad. <laughs> because it's not a real divorce? Yeah. yeah. From a shopping bag, JJ produces the two booklets that confirm their old and now new status. Does this mean that money is more important than love? No, no, we're in love. We're still in love. <laughs> Official figures show a two-fold increase in Nanjing's divorce rate compared to a year ago. Property prices in some of China's big cities began rising steeply several months ago. It followed intervention by the government. To try to revive sagging economic growth, banks were told to lower interest rates. The result is that cheap money has rarely been more readily available. Some economists warn that this kind of debt-fueled growth can be dangerous. but. With the savings rates offered by banks so low and the stock market still too unpredictable, many Chinese people are returning to property. Outside Beijing, more new upmarket homes. Chaperoned by eager sales agents, these prospective buyers don't seem concerned about buying into this overheating market. I bought a flat early this year. It's more than doubled in value. Doubled. You can't buy any more. And this place will go up in value as well. Back in Nanjing, Stevie and JJ seem happy about the divorce. They say they plan to continue living together and to remarry once they've secured their second home. Adrian Brown, Al Jazeera, Nanjing.